History of Crown Hill Cemetery. These are old. Yeah. According to Wikipedia, the privately owned cemetery was established in 1863 at Strawberry Hill, whose summit was renamed the Crown, a high point overlooking Indianapolis. So, but not that old, 1863. So there's a, we remember we went under that like tunnel thing mm. and we got that, so we went under 38th street so you can, you don't have to worry about crossing the highway. We went under the highway. He's here. No, they're going to go see the president's grave. 
do you want to go see the president's grave or not? I'm fine. I'm go anywhere. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot of people actually visiting it today. It's right there where those people are standing. You're seeing here Riley, Idlejord, Fortune. These are like, like the old money in Indianapolis. Like that, everything in the town is named after them. The Children's Hospital is Riley Children's Hospital. Yeah. Because they donated so much money. You. Mm. The Fortunes. They have a foundation that gives money to the museum and lots of other museums. The Idlejords gave enough money to the Museum of Native American and Western Art that it that. The whole museum is named the Idol Jordan Museum. Oh, wow. You can see the whole city. Yeah. It's like a hill right here. Is that the grave too? That's mm -hmm. a big thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is called um, a mausoleum because you can open the doors and then. Um, I think sometimes it depends. Sometimes people are actually buried in there and like they stack them holes in the wall where you store the ashes of like the whole family oh i can understand i i feel like this is like the chinese or Khmer thing do but the re but the, the one thing is different is you don't actually offer food this for is very lunch. interesting is, they do it's like, like a grave that they made into a picnic table kind of yeah. thing it's so they want their family to come and sit and talk oh i i feel like some kind of you don't want to see the people laying the air But look, you do. You see people walking. There's people walking. People with dogs. People with kids. You know. Yeah, I don't want them to sit on my grave. No. I want to see the other thing that they talked about. Sorry. Oh yeah. It's just kind of simple with an American flag. What would you think, like next year if they restart the, the cemetery tours, would you want to take one? I would think it would be so fascinating to learn about the history of all the different people who are buried here. You want to go up here? Yeah. And look, there's lots of free space too. Big green space. I mean, I don't think it's appropriate to like have a picnic here. but No. Although, I don't know, that one grave, they did turn their grave into a picnic table. Part of this is a military cemetery area too, or somewhere. Oh, this just goes in a circle. That tree is gorgeous. They have water pumps all around so you can um, pump water to take and water like plants if you have plants at your family member's grave. Oh. Oh yeah, see all of the white markers? 
Those are military. Do you want to go see that? Oh, uh, no. So many of them who died in the war made this. Are there audio tours for Crown Hill Cemetery? Here's what I found for audio tours. that have defeated, defended, oh. sorry, defended the United States of America. World War One, World War Two. World War One, World War Two, army here. Mm -hmm. World War One, World War One. I know I'm kind of driving on the wrong side. World War II, World War One, World War One, World War One, Korea. Eighteen eighty seven, eighteen ninety, US Mexican War. Oh. Some of these could have even been like Civil War veterans who survived the war but then were buried here when they died. Because mm. some of them don't say Like I said, I am pretty sure it is, or at least at one time it was, the largest cemetery inside a city. Mm. You know, that's not like out in the countryside or something like that. Arlington National Cemetery for the governor and established at the old fairgrounds. Indiana troops served in every theater of action. As the war progressed, Camp Morton became a prisoner of war camp, housing thousands of Confederate city hosp sorry of confederates city hospital treated both confederate prisoners and union soldiers citizens of indianapolis celebrated when the confederate capital at richmond virginia fell on april 3rd 16 or 1865 and when confederate general robert e lee surrendered on april 9th despair replaced joy when lincoln was assassinated six days later the president's body lay in state for 18 hours at the Indianapolis Capitol building on April 30th. More than 700 Union soldiers who died in city hospitals were originally buried in Green Lawn Cemetery. In November 1866, the federal government hired local undertaker to supervise the removal of the dead. They relocated the remains of 712 hospitals from the Green from Greenland Cemetery to this cemetery.